These characters didn't really need superpowers to catch our attention. Come on, lady, wake up! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hottest non-superhero women in comic books. I thought all you special ops guys were tough. We are tough, but we're also sensitive. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be ranking the most alluring and attractive women from the world of comics who don't fit within the category of superhero. But just because they don't wear a cape doesn't mean they qualify. We'll be leaving off characters like Natasha Romanoff, aka the Black Widow, as she might not be a traditional superhero, but she's still an Avenger, so yeah. Number 10, Red Monica. It doesn't take much more than a passing glance at Red Monica to realize exactly why this fearsome bounty hunter of the Battle Chasers universe is sitting pretty on our list. Not only is Monica a natural and died in the wool warrior, but her over-the-top figure and flowing mane of red hair make her an unforgettable sight on the battlefield. In fact, illustrator Joe Madureira has been quoted saying that his drawings of Red Monica are, in fact, a riff on the often exaggerated physical proportions of female characters in comics. So you get it? It's self-aware. Either way, fans of this busty and beautiful swordswoman probably aren't complaining, making Red Monica one of the most enduring characters from the Battle Chasers short-lived run. Number nine, Ramona Flowers. You know this one girl with hair like this? Yes, that's Ramona Flowers. Somebody said she was gonna be here tonight, actually. What? Scott Pilgrim had to fight through this character's seven evil exes to win her affection. But to be honest, we think it was pretty much worth it. Ramona Flowers is many things. She's mysterious, she's charming, and she's fiercely independent. This mystery makes her mighty appealing, as evidenced by the epic battles that Scott must endure against her extremely jealous and dangerous ex-lovers. Though she might not have powers, her enticing aura seems to have a certain supernatural grip on both sexes. This Scott Pilgrim paramour has plenty going for her when it comes to her legion of fans. Does that mean we can make out? Sure. Cool. Number eight, Red Sonia. No man may have me unless he has beaten me in a fair fight. If imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, then Red Monica might owe this next warrior woman some royalty payments. Red Sonia, the she-devil with a sword, has an extensive backstory with a history dating all the way back to the early 70s. Sonia was originally created as a sort of female counterpart to the popular Robert E. Howard character, Conan the Barbarian. But time has seen the fierce swordswoman earn her own reputation as a classic comic book heroine. Maybe it's her grace with a sword, or maybe it's that long red hair and chainmail bikini, but Red Sonia continues to captivate comic book fans around the world with her strength and obvious sex appeal. You're meant to be using your sword, remember? Number seven, April O'Neil. Am I behind on my Sony payments again? <laughs> this close confidant of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has seen more than her fair share of makeovers since first debuting within the Mirage comic book line back in 1984. April O'Neil has been a brunette and a redhead, a computer programmer, and an intrepid news reporter, but never has she failed to captivate fans with her beauty, resourcefulness, and intelligence. Oh, she's so hot I can feel my shell tightening. We can hear you. Miss O'Neil has been portrayed by an equally alluring cast of real-world actors, from Judith Hogue in the original TMNT live-action film, to Paige Turco in its Secret of the Ooze sequel, and most recently, Megan Fox in producer Michael Bay's big-budget reimagining. April is the reason a lot of people keep turning to Channel 6, no doubt. O'Neill, we're live in 30 minutes. Come on. Uh, okay. No, okay. no, no, I'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Come on, you're killing me. Number six, Betty Cooper and Veronica Lodge. It's a tie. Veronica Lodge. Archie Andrews. Ah, uh, this is Betty Cooper. Come on, do you really think we could choose between these two? I mean, Archie can't. The story of Betty Cooper and Veronica Lodge's feud for the affections of Archie Andrews may be a seemingly never-ending source of Riverdale gossip, but we honestly wouldn't have it any other way. On the surface, these two ladies couldn't be more different, with Betty's blonde girl-next-door charm serving as the polar opposite to Veronica's spoiled-yet-sexy daddy's girl routine. Yet, they both possess one shared, unifying characteristic. They are two of Riverdale's most stunning beauties. Simply stated, this perfect pair has transcended time as one of the comic book world's most beloved romantic rivals. Number 5, Lady Death. Nothing will stand in my way. As a popular cosplay subject and comic book character alike, Lady Death has endured with tremendous success ever since first making her debut in the early 90s. And why not? It's not every character that can balance out immense hell-born power with such a daring and provocative style of dress. Indeed, Lady Death makes it look easy as she dishes out her own unique brand of justice against evil demonic creatures, all while sporting a voluptuous figure barely contained by her modest two-piece black boots and ceremonial cape. 
Is this getup sensible for battle? Maybe not, but the legions of Lady Death admirers don't seem to be complaining all that much. Know this, Lucifer. One way or another, I will destroy you. Number four, Baroness. Follow me. Like that's gonna happen. Power is sexy, and nowhere is that old saying better represented than in the striking, seductive figure of Anastasia Cisarovna, better known as the Baroness. As an integral, high-ranking intelligence officer within the villainous ranks of Cobra, the Baroness is constantly placed at odds with her sworn enemies, the G.I. Joes. Cesarovna is the total package, a combination of ruthless ambition, devious ability, and leather-clad sex appeal, who works as both a femme fatale and a straightforward soldier. Oh, and there's also the business of the Baroness's sultry, aristocratic accent, a voice that can disarm even the most vigilant opponent. Just long enough for this terrorist operative to slip a knife between their ribs. The night is not yet over, Commander. Number three, Vicky Vale. I like bats. The role of Gotham City's Vicky Vale as a love interest for Bruce Wayne and his alter ego Batman is one that can be traced almost as far back as the superhero's own origins. Vale has played a role in some of Batman's most memorable storylines and enjoyed a number of occupations throughout her history, but one recurrence is her romantic attraction to the Caped Crusader and his Playboy persona. And it's easy to see why Batman tends to reciprocate these affections, as Vale is often portrayed as a buxom blonde bombshell with legs for days and an intoxicating sensuality. Although her closeness to Wayne has varied over the course of her multiple incarnations, Vicky Vale remains a stone-cold comic stunner for the ages. It's not a perfect world. It doesn't have to be a perfect world. Number two, Mary Jane Watson. Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. They say that behind every great man is a great woman, and Mary Jane is the emotional strength and stability behind New York's greatest crime fighter. Mary Jane Watson is more than just a pretty face to Peter. She's his rock, support system, and biggest fan. Of course, it also doesn't hurt that this fiery redhead is an absolute fox, able to melt the heart of just about anyone fortunate enough to catch her eye. It could be Mary Jane's easygoing personality, or it could be that winsome smile and naughty charm. But there are few comic book women able to hold a candle to the one and only Mary Jane Watson. Face it, Tiger, you hit the jackpot. Don't make me look ugly. <laughs> That's impossible. Before we reveal our sexiest non-superhero comic book character, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Vampirella. <sighs> this is what I am. What can we say about Vampirella, the impossibly sexy horror icon who has been pleasurably haunting the dreams of comic book fans since her 1969 debut? Vampy, as she's known to her friends, may be a vampire, but Bella Lugosi this is definitely not. Instead, this tortured soul spends her days attempting to fend off her hunger for blood, trying to feed only upon those who deserve death. Of course, the fact that Vampirella also tends to sport only a tiny red suit and black knee-high boots means that those who do feel her bite usually receive the best possible send-off. In the end, it's her world, and we're only living in it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.